The web has allowed us to connect to other people around the world, and all those people are now sharing information with all of us. It is through this information that we're capable of engaging and learning about all the things that happen in the world. For example, museums are using the web to teach us about the history of the world through digital collections. Schools and different education institutions are also using the web as a tool for knowledge distribution. But what is the problem then? All this information has to be accessed through an interface. Since 1994, when the first Macintosh was released, we have not been able to break that graphical user interface paradigm. GUIs focus mainly on using windows, icons, menus and a pointing device. This means that users are working with representations of tools in order for them to interact with the information. Alternatively, tangible user interfaces provide a pathway where it has been proposed that such interfaces can provide a more meaningful interaction and help uploading mental processes onto the objects. The museum environment is surrounded by material culture. One of the main issues with the online museum is the disconnection to that original physical object displayed in the museum. Transferring the physical properties of the traditional museum through a tangible interface can help narrowing that bridge between the online museum and the traditional museum. Moreover, from a pedagogic perspective, constructivist theory has promoted the idea of learning by interacting with the learning material, or learning by doing. The approach that this research follows is to understand how knowledge is constructed in order to transfer that experience through a tangible interface on the web. For this, this research follows a Coffs model where even though it, it is still under debate, it still provides an interesting perspective to this process. According to a Coff, data has no further meaning and is factual, nevertheless needs to be placed under context. And this is where information comes in. By giving meaning to the data, we can be able to answer essential questions such as who, what, when and where. This way, people can collect data and information and produce knowledge and use it. Moreover, they can share it to other people. And the web is the perfect place for that. Museums have vast sets of knowledge stored as repositories. For example, Europeana gathers knowledge from over 600 museums, libraries and archives, all these across Europe. Europeana manages the repositories under several ontologies specially designed for knowledge representation. This representation occurs based on concepts and sharing vocabularies. Ontologies commonly describe instances, concepts, attributes and relations. By allowing users to interact through embodied interaction, taking advantage of their embodied cognition, knowledge can be facilitated in a more natural and meaningful way especially if we provide common users with the tools to explore such knowledge.